welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Today we are going to be doing some fishing with sweets. We've done epic fishing with peas, you've done potatoes, you've done raisins, you've done chips, and now we've had lots of comments saying, guys, you need to get out there and use sweets. What do you think? Sweets? Sweets? Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, apple pie and custard, that type of sweet? <laughs> no, I'll show you what type of sweets. So what have you bought in the shops this time? Right, well I haven't actually spent much money, which is not, not like me. So, we have got... Let's start with these. Let's start with these. Mini jelly beans. Mini jelly beans. They're basically like, they look like a baked bean, but they're sweet. What do you think? They're quite hard. I haven't tasted them yet, but they look good. They're colourful for sure. That's one packet. And then we have something a bit different. I'm just showing the crowd. <laughs> We have strawberry flavoured pencils. Now I thought these because you can actually chop these up to a size that you would like. So they're kind of like a hot dog looking shaped one, but you can snip them up to any sort of size and loose feed them as well. Strawberry flavoured pencils. Strawberry is always good. We used to put an additive of a strawberry flavouring, like an essence into a paste base years ago. So strawberry could be a good one, guys. I've not tried any of these. And these, I used to have these as a kid. Haribo Star Mix. It's a mixture of all sorts of things. Now they've told us before about using these people. Yeah. They have told us. Different anglers have said Haribo is supposed to be pretty good. So that's a good mixture. You've got loads of different sweets in there. And this one, probably down your street, the good old traditional Jelly Babies. This one in here looks like a fried egg. It is. Is it? Yes, it's an egg. <laughs> it's not actually an egg, but it's a fried egg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jelly Babies. Here comes diabetes. <laughs> so we're going to try, guys, to catch some carp on sweets, probably using a diff really simple rigs, I'd say, uh, but different kind of uh, techniques and things like that. But these ones, we're gonna be careful with because these are little people. I mean, they live in here. Hello, hello. They live in here, we're gonna be careful with that one. <laughs> Let's get fishing, chuck a bit of ground bait, get them around, and then we'll see which of these we can catch a fish on. So, we are fishing two rods each. We're doubling up in the same swim. We're here at Watmore Farm, uh, and it's late afternoon overcast conditions and this is how I'm going to hook the sweets. I'm going to choose one of these Haribo Star Mix things and I'm going to go for, because Dad said strawberry is really good, I'm going to go for these strawberry love hearts, okay? Those along with the strawberry flavour pencils which look like this. Obviously I'm not going to hook that but I am going to cut it up into small sections, possibly a couple of longer ones, a couple of short ones as well, a bit of a mixture, and something like that, or that, would be my hook bait size. Okay, and obviously with sweets, you can chop them up. I could even chop that love heart in two, if the bites were quite finicky, and that way... Your heart's broken. <laughs> I've got a broken heart. There we go, I could fish half a heart. But that's the plan, guys. Half a heart? Oh, I wonder what you said then. Yeah, half a heart. I thought it was half a... Half a... <laughs> I, I'm going, so I'm going strawberry, I'm going red to start with. I'm going to go with a strawberry love heart on one rod and a strawberry pencil on the other rod. Here's what Graham's going to use. The ones that I'm going to be using are old school me jelly babies because I had those when I was a kid. I've opened up the little people's houses here. Hello? So don't worry, we're just going to show you to the people on YouTube. First two out, I think it's brother and sister yellow and green. I don't think it really makes much difference. I personally think I might fish two of these. I might fish a half a one and a whole one, if that makes sense. So if you, if as kids you like doing this, you want a half a one, the best thing to do is to rip his head off. No, I mustn't, I mustn't. Why did you bring this in? That's so cruel. <laughs> this one is the headless half that's going out. I feel the carp's going to have that. Nothing to do with colour. This one <laughs> is really, really, it's going to be such a difficult fishing trip here, I can tell you guys. This one I'm going to try hole. The God's honest truth, I think that might be too big. I feel I might get fast tweaks, fast takes, they blow it out. Because don't forget, you know, this is, this, this is pretty hard. There's obviously an assortment of colours in here. There's a... Uh, Our family. <laughs> That's the auntie and uncle there, the little people, you can just see those. And this one's been drinking. He's what we call legless. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this one 
He's honestly, he's totally innocent. He would never cause you any trouble at all. He's harmless. Totally harmless. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> How do I live with myself? I'm going to finish these two off, cut some up in halves, loose feed them out. Just basically, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just get a hook here. We're using just like a size four hook, wide gate. Wide gate hook's quite important. Say, I've got the hook here. You know, what I fancy doing, if I just nip the end off of that, that leaves two sticky, really sticky ends, and you can get the hook in there, roll it around out loose, and just push it down so it buries a little bit there. I don't think you can see it if you're a carp, but there's a little point showing there as well. See, by biting both ends off, it's absolutely, look, watch. See how sticky that is? Really, really sticky, and the same the other end. And I feel, ugh, that's a sweet sticky bit that they might actually zone in on. So there you are, fishing trip for somebody who's never used jelly babies before. I can't remember using them anyway. I can remember eating them. That's how I'm gonna be doing it. I feel this one's gonna catch. I'd be very surprised if Auntie Mabel there, fished whole, does get a take. Let's get them in the water and see what we can do. Now with these strawberry pencils, there's actually a couple of ways that you can hook them. And one of them I just discovered now, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So, with a pair of scissors, this is just a kind of inch long piece. With a pair of scissors, literally, without cutting yourself obviously, cut down the middle like this. There we go. And you can actually fold this out and there's kind of a, can't be good for you really, but there's a red plastic coating, not plastic. It looks like a plastic coating, it's sweet, it's edible. But you can peel that away from the, the white innards of this sweet like that and actually there you go there is the skin of the sweet which can be used obviously it's edible and here is the white and what i figured is if i crush that white together enough i'll just put the red bit down like this in my hand i can almost knead it into a paste and if i rolled that like so i can make it into ah! <laughs> a boilie almost a boilie okay that's going to sink it's not pop-up material it looks like a pop-up but that is basically a white boilie almost. It's really tough as well, so I'd say that would last a long time in the water. So yeah. if you were fishing overnight, joking apart, I reckon that would last most of the night. Yeah. Mr. Crayfish might find it, but he then gets his claws stuck together. But that could be really attractive to the fish. And then I've got this, which I wouldn't throw away. I could still use that. I could fold that into a hook bait size as well. But if I made a load of those, I could loose feed them as pellet, or I could just use them on a hook, either hair rigged, or directly onto the hook itself. In fact, I'm gonna give that one a go and see what happens. Okay, so what I've done is I've obviously stripped out the inside of these sweets and I rolled in the inner part of it into a ball. So these are kind of like your eight, 10 mil size, almost a bit smaller than that, six mil probably. Uh, and these are like your 10 to 15 size. I've put these next to it so you can gauge how big they are, the uh, piece of um, pencil sweet. Uh, in comparison to the ball of sweet that I've rolled up. Another thing that I thought was quite interesting as I was playing about with it, is if you take the skin that you've peeled it out of, obviously I've changed the shape. To make your bait last longer in the water, you can actually put that skin back on, or change color as well from white to red. And you just mold it back around the sweet like that. And it does stick to it, it stays there, and you can pinch it at the end and keep it rolled. And then you have the same kind of diameter and shape of your bait, but you've got that protective coat of the sweet, which will make it last longer in the water. Plus you can change color, so you've got a couple of red ones, a couple of white ones as well. Just a little sweety tip there for you. Well, I've got something on here, guys. It's not breaking my arm and pulling, pulling strong, but it looks like a small roach. And actually look, there's the old sweetie pop up. There's no denying it, guys, it works. It's not a huge fish, but if this one's gonna take it, a carp certainly will too. Oh yes, 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 yes. Fish on? Oh yeah, here we go. On the love heart, baby. <laughs> oh really, yeah. Oh yes, touch ledgering is the way. Do not fall off, please do not fall off. Check the drag, check the drag. Drag is okay. Come on, don't fall off. Ooh. Come on, come on. My first ever fish on the sweet. 
could be coming. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's quite a nice fish. Oh, I can see I can see the love heart in its mouth. No. I can see the red love heart. Shows what, no faking goes on here and totally awesome. No what? Faking. Yeah. No faking up. Look at this. I can actually see the red. There it is. Oh line. my is god, line? yes. If I get it, I get it. Oh. Uh, there it is on the surface. He's a digger. He's a digger. There it is. There is the love heart. I can't <laughs> see it. I can't see the fish. There. It's about... There it is, up in the water there. Oh, he's digging, he's digging. Oh, it's near my margin rod. This one was out further in the lake, guys, by the way. Nowhere near the other baits? Uh, could be, actually, yeah. I mean, I chucked in some loose feed of the jelly beans, just for a bit of ground bait. It's a common. You see the bait there, it's tough bait. It is a tough bait. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There's the bait, there's the bait. No. Heads up, heads up. I think it's just come off the love heart. It has come off. Oh, come on. Get in the net, get in the net, get in the net, get in the net, get in the net. Yes. yes, he's in. The sweetie strikes with a common carp. Boom. And touch ledgering. Touch ledgering. Uh, oh, I've got the mat down here. I was kneading on it, doing pictures of those bad boys. So we better get the mat up here. Yes! The love heart strikes. Be nice, be nice. This is a nice carp. There we go. Love heart is the way to go. Can I get one on the strawberry pencil? The strawberry pencil kind of boilie I made. It would be great to catch one on that as well. Well that one is a perfect sweetie. <laughs> Isn't it? Amazing. That is totally awesome fishing. That's what we're all about, guys. Doing it differently. Yeah. We'll get this one back and then hopefully get another one. Recovered. He's well off he goes. Awesome. Who will be next? Or we could loose feed that one. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> oh no! Somebody's eaten Uncle Arthur. Oh no. I don't believe I've got the other rod out with Auntie Mabel on it. Let's get Auntie Mabel out of the water. I've got the other rod gem between my knees. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Let's get that one over there. Something is on the end of that. What colour was it? Do you know, I can't even remember what colour Arthur was. Green, I think it was, was he? I can't remember. Either way, he's taste. Or was Arthur the one I pulled his head off? Yeah. Is this legless or armless? Well, this is on a different rod. I've not used this quiver tip rod ever before. It was a little bit soft, but not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Not necessarily a bad thing if you're learning. You don't want to use those really high-powered rods because you can bust the fish off. A softer rod, you have a bit more fun. And like this one, lovely, lovely action. And do you know where this one came from, people? A charity shop. Lovely, I love it. You can't be cheap. It's got a lovely action to it. Now come on Arthur, I'm sure Arthur's not going to be on the hook like Mike's one was showing, but... Yeah, you said they, were, they went so, slightly yeah, soft. they seem to go quite... <laughs> the jelly baby. I think, I think Arthur was dissolving, was what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but very, I, all that powdery coating on the outside must come off. And the actual jelly gunky stuff, it seems to go very soft, very soft, almost like dissolving. Digging and digging. It's like a little miniature blackfin tuna, this fish. If anybody ever gets to go tuna fishing, they want to know what the hardest fighting tuna is. It's a blackfin tuna. If you had a 15 pound blackfin tuna on a rod like this, you would, I don't think you'd ever land it. But there's a mirror here. Well done, Arthur. That's what you get, families should stick together. Well, they are stuck together, especially if I tread on the packet. Well, listen guys, we're not saying this is the world's best fishing bait. We're just saying it's a bit of fun because a lot of guys have been emailing us in and putting in the comment section, you should try this, you should try that. And unfortunately for everybody else, we will try it. There you are, look. Just a regular Joe Average little mirror car. Gave me a really good scrap. I always like the good scrappers. They've got that orange tail. I always find it's a healthy car if it's got that sort of deep orange to the tail there. 
A nice fish, well done Uncle Arthur. No, you're not Uncle Arthur, you're a carp. Uncle Arthur's in the, well he's not in the packet. The rest of his family's here. Oh, don't use us. Sorry bud, you'll go in next. Oh no, oh no, it's a human being. He's coming to get us, he's coming, he's taken, he's taken half my, he's taken the twins. Oh my God, he's taken the twins. And now he's got hold of me. He's pulled me up. What the hell is he going to do? I don't know what he's going to do to me. Oh my god! Oh no, I'm too young to die. I am too young to die. Ooh. 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 Oh, friction burns! Oh man, that's shocking. That feels really rough. What's happening next? No, 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 no! Oh my god! Hey, hey, hang on a minute. I can't swim. I can't swim. I'm telling you, it's too cold. Oh, oh, swimming in water. Oh, my God, I fell off. What the hell is happening? I can't walk that way. No, 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 no. Oh. He's made us line up. He's made us line up. Oh, no. It's just like one of those police ones. We're going to get picked out. Oh, no, not me. Please, please. No, no, not me. Not me. Oh, my God. What's going to happen? It's making me really nervous. I can't swim. You don't understand, Jelly Baby. You don't like water. I can't fly. Water. Water. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, no. No, it can't be me. I don't like flying. I don't like... Well guys, another fish hooked up on a jelly baby. I am so ploughing through this family, it's unbelievable. I think this is auntie that's going, I think this was the half bait, I've been switching around, chopping and changing. I might have to bite the head off a few more because I'm a bit hungry. But, good scrappers here, good scrappers. You only want feeders, and we'll, look, we're using feeder rods, Avon rods with quiver tips, we're not using um, carp gear, heavy carp gear or anything like that, it's just Avon rods, a great scrap. You see the bite, but the big thing is we're touch ledgering. Now I've got no idea whether if you use buzzers, these sweets would be, you know, have the same effect. But for free lining, which is what we've been pounding fish on the whole summer, and touch ledgering especially, it's really, really paid dividends. And of course, like anything, the more you do, the better you get at it. I think we do want to ping off. Oh, he's got the other line. He's uh -uh. swimming around my other line, I assume, to get the other sweetie. Let's get him on the net, have a look at him. So there you go, guys. As I say, we're working our way through the family of jelly babies. Maybe we'll try a grandfather jelly baby or maybe even a small one. And then we get down to the children's size. About time you have one, Mike, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. No, 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 not a child. We don't want any of that. We don't want any of those. <laughs> no, yikes. A bit early. <laughs> oh, yes. Fish on. This time, on the other sweet, the strawberry pencil, the little white paste let him go he's taking line he's taking line on the white paste ball that I made without the red cover wrapped around it however who cares it's another fish to the sweets My personal sweetie challenge is complete. I've caught on the two sweets that I wanted to catch on. And look at that for scales. Pretty, pretty patterns, isn't it? Yeah, look at that.
Come on, off you go. I need to get more sweets on the hook. Off he goes. Oh, look at that. He's right up against there. That is awesome. Cruising away. What bait's next? Next up is fried egg, and I'm going to show you how I hook it. Well, here is the fried egg. Now, let me show you how I'm going to hook it. I'm going to go, obviously, there's the soft white part, those of you who eat these fried eggs. There's the uh, yolk, which is a lot harder. I'm going to go through the soft white part of the egg and come out of the yolky part. Now, I personally prefer yolk in eggs when I'm eating. Don't know about you guys, whether you prefer, some people only eat the white, some people only eat the yolk, but I prefer the, uh, the yolk. There you go. So it looks like the hook's showing quite a lot, but these are carp and we're getting them feeding, so hopefully that'll get me another fish. So the fried egg is out there. Just gonna show you a bit about the technique that I'm using. Touch ledgering. First time I've kind of used it this year. I've only recently started using it. Dad uses it all the time. But basically you just lay the line and pinch it across uh, either this finger here, your middle finger, or this finger next to your middle finger. This one is generally the most sensitive. The one just after your baby finger. I'm not sure, sure what finger it's actually called, but and you can just wind the line through there slowly to keep it taut. Not too tight, but just taut. And then when the fish take, you'll feel a slight tug this side. Okay, and it, that's when you need to strike. But you also need to watch the line in the water as well. Well, I can't be beaten by Mike on those other sweets. The family are coming to back me. I think these jelly babies, I don't think they're English. I think they're mafia. There's a gang of them. They're here, backing me up. And this one, well, he won't be joining in the, uh, the gang anymore, will he? Well, it's not a bad carp boiling on the surface. Not a bad carp at all. I think the one uh, bait might be good here, which we... I don't think I've ever used it yet. Wow, that's a good boil. Are the beans, those little beans. Which ones are those, Mike? What do you call them? Uh, the uh, jelly beans. They're actually jelly quite bean. hard, like baked bean type this sh shape. It's just the size I think might be pretty good. A silent period where we both look and think... <laughs> Eight pounds? <laughs> <laughs> How big is this? Who knows? What it is about is having fun with your fishing, and that's what it's all about. We like using different wacky baits. Hey, don't get me wrong, we like catching fish on them as well. We're showing that. But, you know, don't be afraid to experiment with basically, I feel, anything you're eating yourself as a human being, the carp will eat as well. Probably some out of date stuff as well. I think most of my family <laughs> eat out of date stuff, it's cheaper. I've got some wonderful bacon from 2014. Got a bit of tang to it. What is this fish been on? Jelly babies? It's a sugar rush. He's <laughs> having a sugar rush. <laughs> sugar rush. He's absolutely scrapping like crazy. I'm not messing around with it. I want to get it in because I want to get another member of the family out. <laughs> Pretty scales on him. Yeah, There's some of you guys to talk about as well. Lovely scales. Very fat one. It Back is. he goes. And what I'm going to do, because we're getting later in the afternoon now, we've proved the sweets work. Some of these down here, Mike's got down here, I'm going to drop down here in the margins and see if anything comes in close. And I'm going to stand the family up if I can down there and see if the family like it in the water. I'm sure I can fit them with a little aquilung, a little snorkel, they won't mind at all. And we'll see if anything comes along, well, to gobble it down their tummy. Well, the egg strikes. I'm getting through the Harry, Harry Bone Star Mix selection, and I think next up is going to be the cola bottle, but I need to get this fish in first. And he's taking me to the snags. Come on. Yeah, I've got a snag just on my left down here. I've got an overhanging tree. And he's absolutely ploughing towards it, so he knows what he's doing. Well, he is. He's got the sugar rush. Well, guys, we're not actually being too silly with the sweets because Andy, the owner here at Watmore, told us that a couple of years ago, an old boy had one near the top of the lake, 18 pounds on a jelly baby. How many members of the family you got left, Dad? A few, most of them are underwater at the moment. <laughs> they got swimming lessons. Oh, there we go. This is probably fish of the day for me. So the egg works. Interesting. I think next up is going to be the cola bottle. I don't have too many uh, things left in that star mix, but I'm going to go for the cola bottle. And I'm still still casting relatively far out, as far as I can almost, because there's not much weight to it. You can obviously, guys, put a split shot onto the uh, main line if you want to, just to get a bit of distance to help you with casting. Um, but I'm going to, you know, cast as far as I can, 
and uh, hopefully get one on the cola bottle. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Ready right. and go. Go. I've got the cola bottle. Here. I've got a cola bottle. <laughs> I've been. <laughs> okay. Let's All right. explain to the people why we're laughing. Give me the camera. Very simple, simplistic, basic humour here on Charlie TA Fishing. Dad's trying to film me, but, but he's listen. positioned above the bucket <laughs> in a very convenient position. If those jelly babies didn't go down too well, you're in the right place. <laughs> I'm going straight through. <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody around the lake, don't worry, we're yeah. not a normal family. We are. So. We generally squat over a bucket at okay. our house. Right, we'll try again. Okay, let's go. So, I've just caught on the fried egg. Now I'm going on the cola bottle. And the way I'm going to hook this is, you've got the fat end at the bottom of the cola bottle, thin end at the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I can, no particular reason for this, but I'm just going to go through the base of the cola bottle out there. And so it's kind of leaving a bit more of a long shape there. I'm going to try something a bit different because the egg's been quite round, um, as has the little white strawberry lace thingy. That was quite round, so I've gone for a kind of longer profile here and actually similar to Dad's Jelly Baby, so we'll see how that one goes. You know there's going to be a Jelly Baby expert somewhere, one of those guys that yeah. constantly Got bugs us. Got to snip off the left ear That's and it. Oh, you can't, right fit, you can't put Jelly Babies on the hook like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. Block. Yeah. <laughs> Remove and block. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say, but we've had some great fish in here, and I've caught fish on that, that family of jelly babies, but I feel a bit bad because I was, I was trying to give them swimming lessons, and they're down there, and I wonder if they're drowning, but I have got a way. I don't know how to do it. It's a sort of extra sensory power I have to be able to save the jelly baby family. I think we've had good fish, and I think I owe it to them, really, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you say it. a family of jelly babies. I can take you out. We'll take you fishing again another day, shall we? Come on. Well, we're running out of sweets. It's lucky Graham saved that family of jelly babies. Well, the Haribo Star Mix is almost complete. I'm onto the ring now, and I'm going to hook this by going. That's a real one. Oh, that's, that's nasty. That's a real one. What is wrong with you? <laughs> too many jelly those, babies. Those jelly babies have not settled. That is just nasty. Right. I'm glad it's not windy. Take two. Okay, take two. I've put the hook in now. Right. I'm going to be using the ring to... <laughs> <laughs> Wind is a bit blowing the other way, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, Star... Harry Bow Star Mix Challenge is almost complete. I just caught one on the cola bottle. I'm now going to go for the ring and I'm going to hook it slightly differently. Basically, just going to go through one side of the ring, roll it out, pull the hook right through so the line comes through it, and then I'm going to go back through the top of that ring there where the kind of jewel would be if it was a ring and pull it tight a bit just so it's got. Something like that. The way I think of it that way is that when this goes into the water, it will sit nice and flat with the hook point showing up. That's the plan anyway. Well, over a round up, put the binoculars on. Oh, double hook up, people, double hook up. Double sweetie attack. Unbelievable. I think I'm under you. I'm free, I'm free. You're clear. This is like that tuna programme where they get two fish crossed up and they end up losing one and whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh you got my eyes pinged off. They have the mic in here. Well, there we go, fish of the day here at Watmore Farm. There's no denying that sweets work. Totally awesome fishing. We'll get him back and maybe have one last cast.